Alrighty, so a couple of tips for young players. Let's talk about lens lineup. So people sometimes wonder what lens they should buy. Should I buy like a wide angle or a medium type of lens or a long lens and they don't really know. I think what you should aim for is long term. So let's look at a lens lineup. So we've got my wide angle. So that's a 14 to 24. It's actually really wide. It's good in getting in close and sports and landscapes, but it does curve stuff a bit. I've got my 50 mil, which is kind of in between. Um, it'd be better if I had a 24 to 70 and that'd be a nice zoom. So that'd be between these two. But it's great for portraits and I find buildings and, you know, you, you can't really categorize lenses. I mean, you can use them anywhere for, for anything. This is my longer lens. This is 70 to 200. This is when I want to get something at a distance or crop annoying stuff that's around around the subject, whatever I'm photographing. Let's say you've got harsh light, I'd use that. And one other thing I've got is a 1.7 tally converter, and I use this to extend my lens by mainly this one, 1.7. And it actually works really well, but it, it's a little bit, it does put in a little bit of blur in some of the photographs, so they're not quite as sharp. And of course, we've got our camera body. And on second note, just for you lazy bastards out there who don't think you've got the right gear or the right stuff, this camera body is five years old. This lens is probably four years old and has been through the yards and it's got a bit of fungus in it. This one here is actually quite sharp. It's a cheap $350 lens, but it, it works really well. Sigma's got some great lenses. And this one here, it's been drowned in the water and, you know, it's not quite as sharp as it used to be, but it's one of the best lenses around. Well, this is 10 years ago, but it's great. So just get off your ass, get out and take some great photographs, and we'll see what you got. Thanks, guys.